Welcome in once again, guys. We're here to feed that Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard addiction, guys. You guys already know. Cards I'd be selling right now. I'd be selling these damn cards right now. There's no way this doesn't come in Bonanza. Jay, but you don't know. You're just speculating, guys. I, you know, I trust my crystal ball right here. Hey, crystal ball selling me this is coming in Bonanza. No way to know 100% sure, guys. Me, I just don't take the risk. I sell into the hype. I sell Salomon Great Raging Phoenix, a card that has extreme demand, a card that has been needed since it came out in Legendary Duelist Soul Burning Volcano, a card that was 1918 Bones um, right here before the tins came out. And then once people knew it wasn't in the tins, boom, spiking up. It says 38s right here. Look at that. $45 with shipping, guys. It's mid 40s. If we clean this up janitor style, what do we see here, guys? What do we see here? Look at that. Quickly goes to 50s, 55, 65. Craziness. One page only. Only a couple of ones and two ofs. Gone. Ten listings only. Mr. Clean is in the building. Mr. Clean is here going to work. That's your boy right there. Hey. Nah, man. Yeah, I'd be selling, bro. Any moment this upcoming... Guys, the gap zone is over. Any moment, I believe next week, we're going to start getting even more reveals. Probably people starting to crack packs open and stuff. We're late October. We're getting Bonanza. Um, I think OTS stores get them on the 6th. And then it comes out officially on the 8th, if I'm not mistaken, guys. That's that's like, like, like what, after next week is the week after that. That's it, man. This is here. Bonanza, the best reprint set of all time, in my humble opinion, is coming out very, very soon. The Gap Zone is over if you have many of these cards that could possibly get reprinted in bonanza it's time to sell it's time to reap in them rewards them pluses them profits for your hard work and you sell you don't take the risk and then there's a waiting game patience wins this game you wait on the sidelines chilling mcmillan and then you see jay it didn't come all right you're gonna have to pay a premium maybe bumps up to 50 55 60s but at least you know that you're holding you held on to a 45 dollar card what if it gets reprinted it becomes in the teens again, maybe even a single digi ultra. Definitely something to keep in mind. Now let's listen in. What, what did Jay has to say? Let, let's listen in. What, what am I doing here? Let's see. L look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Two weeks ago, guys. Early October, almost three weeks ago. Let's listen in. Let's listen in. Beyond so look at that. Dingersu is one that I'd be buying right now. Look at it right now. Orca support. Hey, hey, you come in in here. Look at it. Five dollar quarter century. Look at that massive spike. Orca support. This card is broken. Going from fives. Pretty soon it'll be sevens and eventually double digits. Please make sure you guys pick your Dean Gersus. This is a quarter century. It's too cheap. It could easily go to double digits. Please don't sleep on this card. Then we have Dean Gersu, the Orcas of the Evening Star. Ultis, same deal. 17s. There's going to be 20s and then 25s and then 30s. Again, you want to be early. You want to be buying these cards now. Ultimate Rare from OTS Tournament Pack 11 in the teens. Bro, this is free money. This card always cycles up and down. It's volatile. Goes back down to 20, then back up to 40, 50, 60s, then, then back down. And now with the hype, with Orca support on the way, this is the perfect timing to buy this card. You can't make this stuff up, man. Guys, if you're a YouTuber guys, and you want to say who power. This, who this guy, man? Get out of here. Hey, Dengursu, we told you guys. Pick this card up. $5. This is my personal copy because this is a Euro print. I don't know if you guys can see that. Love it, love it, love it. Pick this up. I don't even know. I think it was at a regional or something. Um, when I was traveling, guys, look at that. 15 bones. It's not that you guys are, are knowing now that this card just got a 15. We talked about it in a couple of videos ago. But just keeping you guys up there. Look at that. 15 bones. We literally showed you the video. But we talked about this card at $5 almost three weeks ago. Almost three weeks ago. Telling you guys. Now we know Orcus is getting support. It's too easy. It's too easy, man. If we know we're getting support. Guys, Jay, but what if Orcus is not good? What if Orcas doesn't come into the meta? What if we get the new cards and no one uses them? Who cares? Hype alone pushes prices up. These cards get price appreciation just based off hype, just based off speculation, guys. Easy money. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, man. <laughs> Clean this up, janitor style. Shh. We literally showed you this card in the teens. We talked about this card in last night's live stream, but I need to let the masses know. It's not everyone sees the live stream. Guys, look at that. 20 listings. You got a one up there at 30. is essentially 40 bones. Jay, why are you looking right? I have no clue. And I just can't look at the, at the screen, man. Look at that, man. We're talking about 40 bones. A lot of one-ofs. 
Look at that. One of the ones that is officially a $40 car. Now your boy's thinking about taking profits. <clears throat> we said, guys, we said 40, 50, 60s. It always does the same thing. Hype alone has pushed this card up to 40s. 20 listings right here. Now your boy's thinking about it. You know, maybe, maybe selling two of these, keep one just in case. You know, get my money back. Your boy put in what? $50? Sell two for what? 80s? Fees and taxes, maybe you got seven seventy five, you know. So what? Make make what? Twenty five, twenty twenty five dollars of my initial investment, and I still got a I got a copy. <laughs> the game is too easy, man. It is. It is. Look at that. I'm talking now about a forty dollar card that was seventeens, two to three weeks ago when your boy was talking about it. Guys, 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 guys. Look, man. Look at that. It's too easy. Look at that, man. I, you know what I'll do? I'll sell these to Billy Bob's. You know, Billy Bob coming in here, buying these. Look at that. Buying these. Where is it, man? Where is it? Let me see. No Billy Bob's yet? Okay. So, card has no liquidity yet. Okay. People are not willing to pay this, but trust me, man. It's 40 years for a reason, man. Scarcity. These cards are hard to get. These cards are beautiful. Once Billy Bob start coming in, buying these, your boy's going to come in, list these. Give them to him. Why? Because I have a beautiful PUR, PCR, the P's and all the R's. You can't make this stuff up, man. You just can't, man. Let me set these to the side, man. Free money. I'm telling you guys. Guys, don't forget. We're having a giveaway, guys. We're having a giveaway over here on X. The way you do it, link tree, this, uh, the description down below. There's the link to our link tree right here. Look at that. You come over here, one click, boom, gets you in. All you have to do is um, like this uh, tweet, the first tweet, the pin tweet right here, and retweet, guys, right there. Look at that. We're giving an OTS and a tin, a mega tin, just for you doing that. You can't make this stuff up right there. Look at that. A mega tin and an OTS pack. We're doing it next Friday. On next Friday's live stream, we're going to be selecting our winner for this tin right here in the OTS pack. And then the following Friday, we're going to most likely select a second winner. A second tin, guys. Look at that. Look at that. There's tins everywhere. A second tin. At the end of the day, we're going to be giving away two tins over here on X, man. There's been a bunch of you guys swinging over. I appreciate the love and the support. Just trying to grow, grow over here on the platform. And the way to grow is to give back, man. We want to give back. This will be sent to a lucky winner next Friday, guys. This upcoming Friday. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss out right here. Damn, this tin. Look at the sound of the plastic. Man, you know you want to rip this thing. You know your little knight is in here, guys. So don't miss out. Make sure you take advantage of that. And guys, for the first time ever on the channel, you want to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Because for the first time ever, we're giving away a Rage of the Abyss full sealed booster box shout out to andrew right there look at that sealed right there man we're giving it away right there man full box man your mo your, your, your charmy is here mo charmy impulse you name it you guys want to be ready i'll touch base on that a little bit more down the line guys we have mirror jade the ice blade dragon starlight rare from photon hypernova i'd be selling this card why because we expect this to be in the rarity collection three guys let's be honest with ourselves look at that this card was 320s you know and now this card look at that coming down i mean we're all the way down here dang i still think this is gonna crack 200 towards the downside and go you know towards 150 maybe even be double digits one day again this is a starlight from photon hypernova extremely scarce um branded players love their you know high-end max rarity but now there's gonna be that perfect mid max quarter century most likely i don't think it's been announced yet but most likely me i'd be selling this card as a high rarity um because even though they're scarce and hard to get these things can drop hard. You don't want to be down 50% half off discount before you decide to get rid of this card. You know, I'll still take 200, man, for this card. Psh. Psh. I wish I might. I'd be selling this right now. Low, the prayers of the voices voice. Look at that. Card was 30s. We told you guys to sell. Now it's 16s. Still telling you guys to sell, man. Don't be that guy seeing this card go down in the single digits, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. We got a beautiful ultimate rare. Honestly, if I would be playing low, I'd just pay the premium and get the OT. Honestly, I'd be selling the secret rare. I'm here. Don't be that guy. Yeah, you see a lot of one ups place at one place at that 16s. Card is still not as easy to get as it should be or could be. Um, because we don't know when we'll get like that really budget ultra rare reprint. Maybe and probably amazing master. Um, but still, I'd be selling this card. Who's playing voiceless, man? Let's be honest. And now the format changed. And then it's going to go into Rizio format and, and uh, Malice. Who's going to, you know what I mean? Like, like who's, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, man. If you're that one guy, you know, I, I root for you. But 
hey i'd be selling this um right now taking the profits recycling into bonanza it's time to recycle these man deck lockdown spiking up man this is one that we need in bonanza man come on konami give us beautiful deck lockdowns card was a billion some change the other day spiking up to threes guys wow look at that you have a couple here excuse me but with taxes essentially three bones a pop i'm right here that's where the walls are at so me look at that this thing is approaching a new all-time high guys right here um but the walls are there avoiding that so me I, i'd be selling into this hype i believe if this card especially if it gets reprinted this will be a double top formation so i, I wouldn't be risking it you know i'd be selling this just in case if you got three of these maybe ten dollars for a playset um and live to fight another day then we have sky striker as Aaliyah. again this card look at that was 12 uh, 13 spiking up to 16s and again this is just off sky striker hype again if you have this card konami loves sky strikers this is this hasn't this is still a single print the perfect place to reprint this card is in bonanza i believe they're going to reprint this with the other sky strikers so again i believe there's no better time at around 14 15s to get rid of this card right now um as off the sky striker hype for from topping in ycs niagara you want to make sure that you sell the secret rare yes single print extremely hard to get but i think it's time is coming in bonanza you know just around the corner early next month right here right now so i wouldn't be risking it for the biscuit man then we have die bell star the black witch we told you guys we told you guys at 2150 don't make me pull up the fresh off the flashback we told you guys sell this damn card we told you guys sell this card because there's man look at that we're already here at 16s the walls are at 17 18s and this is just the beginning the beginning of the downfall we told you guys a massive crash is coming and this is just the beginning you see the signs the signals we've been telling you yeah the card extreme demand um the 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 um the ot is getting cleaned out because people are going for the high rarities the, the the qcs and everything but these guys we're gonna be having secrets supers ultras and all these p's and r's i believe so if i'm not mistaken so again this is gonna be single digits don't be that guy holding down told you guys to sell at 20s telling you guys to sell at 18s don't let me come back at 15s and below you want to sell now sell now the gap zone is almost over this is a confirmed reprint don't be that guy holding on to too long and then regretting it same as super poly this card look at that starting to see a tad bit of a curvature there we go we see the cracks right here 74 listings cracks into the five dollar range right here um hey right there crack cracking in to five off then you come in then it's sub fives then it's fours threes twos and then super polys are gonna be everywhere <clears throat> i won't lie this as a pur ecr it's gonna be beautiful man i can't wait bonanza we, we, we've been spoiled this year man tens so many reprints um rarity collection last year as well now we're getting bonanza wow great time to be alive and in Yu-Gi-Oh. i'm addicted guys but i'd be selling these cards man jay but i got a couple of super polys that I sell that thing don't think twice man getting reprinted confirmed like a week and a half guys substitute another one another one i sold all my copies um i had like 10 12 of these when a, the coon down to the coon be like yeah. <laughs> you want these yeah yeah i'll leave them to you at fives i'll crack you a deal because they were like six six fifties at the time and uh you know and uh, look at that card is what cracking fours now towards the downside i mean you know you only a play set there but these are the signs again these are the signs this card coming in confirmed now um in uh, bonanza and again like if i want this card or not me but most of you probably pick up the quarter century so these i believe they go down to twos around there that's when i'll start picking up these secret rares from the long for the long term um but right now i'd be selling that's good you only have a place out here but you can still sell this card at around five dollars i'd be selling that and pick pick this card back out uh, back up 50 percent half um off discount that's what i'd be doing 50 percent down at two fifties we snipe these up sell at fives that's what i did i'll buy these at two fifties um and we save that discount man Shh, we save it we, we save the half off man 50 percent man and then you buy that, that the game is too easy we have the other froggy treeborn frog from dual saga same deal these were five sixes i'd be selling look at that you're already seeing a couple of listings here at under fours i'd be selling this card same deal I think this card goes down to two to two fifties i mean the lost star is still holding value um i sold all of my uh lost star versions only kept the sealed i think i have like a place that's sealed i don't like selling my sealed cards i like keeping them um because they're sealed man they just have like that fresh mint pack feel to it i love keeping my sealed cards so 
Um, but these are pushing sevens. I mean, Lost Art, a lot of hype around these. These are scarce. I get it. Maybe it'll retain value. Maybe it, it dumps down to five. That's a possibility. But if you have these versions, again, I believe this one was confirmed as well. People are going to want the quarter centuries, especially if they're cheap. So I believe um, I'd just be selling these just in case. Maybe you keep the sealed ones of these, but just sell and wait to see. Again, disclaimer, a pull raise matter. You know what I mean? Uh, ratios matter. So we don't know. Maybe these quarter centuries, yeah, it's one per pack, but maybe, you know, there's so many of them. So, you know, maybe they still retain value. You know what I mean? Like they're not as easy to pull the specific one, this and that and the third. So it's something to keep in mind, you know, with um, as a disclaimer that I'd be selling all these cards because most likely I'd be upgrading to the new ones. Not necessarily because in most cases they're going to, oh, my God, lose 70 percent, 80 percent, 90 percent of their value. I believe sell pressure will come regardless. But with some of these, we just don't know yet. Pull rates and ratios to see how much of an impact. But me, I don't take the risk. I just sell it all. I just sell it all. Just me knowing mentally that we're getting, you know, quarter centuries and platinum secrets of most of these cards we've been talking about. You know, I sell the old versions and I'll be focusing on picking up the new ones. Then we have the Bissio package again. Jewish worm, look at that. 18s down to 14s. Look at shh. guys, sell this. This is going to single digits, Jay. But we everyone needs a bestials and and this and that. I've never owned these bestials, like not, I'm not, you know, if, in the sense for me, I never. I only owe loot bellies and, and it was as an investment and magnemuts and sarineers and stuff. But Jewish worm, I don't think I ever owned this specific card. Um, and if I did, it was just a short term trade again. But I, I want bestials. Bestials are broken, so I, hopefully. They get reprinted in Bonanza because I want to get my hands on these broken cards. And I, hey, look at that sell pressure, man. <clears throat> sell pressure. Told you guys it was going to get close to being a $20 card. It went all the way up there. And now that's it. Gab Zone is over. I'd be selling this card right now. Then Lubelli's, same deal. In, in last night's live stream, uh, people were saying, Jay, Lubelli's are pumping up and the demand is here. And, and, you know, the OG version is going up. The quarter century got bought out, which it did. You know, so again, I'd be selling the, the demand is coming in. Look at the spike here. Sales uh, even up above 15. So the hype is here. These are the only ones keeping this card, you know, um, to not being 16, 17s. But you sell into this final hype phase. You sell into all these Billy Bobs. They don't know any better. Dre, but, you know, Lubellion hasn't been confirmed as a reaper. Come on now. You don't take the risk, man. Like, these are cards that are easy targets to be reprinted in the Rarity Collection, in Bonanza, in Rarity Collection 3. It is, man. So you come in here and you sell, just in case. When you see, oh, it didn't come, you pick it back up. Maybe if you play, pay a tad bit of a premium, knowing that information, that's where it's at with this card. Then we have Mimigo Dungeon. Yeah, I mean, uh, Mimigos, they might receive more support, probably, in Supreme Darkness, maybe. But, yeah, I mean yeah yeah i mean tsh. yeah these this is a deal but I, i'd list mine at around 860s and just sell i mean yeah i mean i think this thing this card still has probably another sk a spike of more mimigo support uh comes down the line but i mean the deck i mean some of these decks are format dependent okay so if the best decks if, if a deck like uh, mimigos have a bad matchup against the best decks of the current format i mean the potential is there once the format shifts, maybe, you know, this could compete more. But uh, in the short term, I'd be recycling this value. I won't lie, man. $25, maybe a little bit over for a place that take that money, putting it, put it into the tins or into the upcoming set of Bonanza and live to fight another day. Guys, link in the description down below. Look at that. We've been highlighting deals now unavailable because you guys have been sniping these up, such as Mo Charmies for 110 minus $15. You get $15 credit on the platform. Deceptions, look at that. This was literally available yesterday, and I know you guys just sniped this up. It was too cheap. $15 off 30, let's say at $20, because you pay like $5 shipping and taxes and stuff. Guys, this $20 Deceptions for a $40 card on TCG Player, we've been highlighting deals after deals after deals. A card that is 75 to 80s in TCG Player was 50s plus 10, maybe 55s over here, guys. Come over here and search for these deals you could get sealed you could get packs you could get boxes you can get these deals like these that we've been highlighting lately you can get 10 cards you know little night we don't know if it's coming in bonanza but if you really need it you get 15 dollars off guys 10 cards anything you name it come over here look at that We're, look at that you can even get some hello kitty mcdonald's 
if you're into collecting those don't miss out come take advantage of these deals over here 15 dollars off and guys over here link tree x we told you guys giving away a 10 next friday is the winner don't miss out guys there's not many people over there on x that have liked and retweeted that tweet so again your chances of getting the tins are higher now than ever than winning a, a giveaway and getting this go take advantage of that one click gets you in right there and then we'll be doing a discord giveaway a tin will be giving away another tin in the discord so you guys want to make make sure you're in one click gets you in man tin giveaway in the discord coming soon guys so stay tuned and then five minute read if you're tired of losing money take five minutes of your time and just read this right here you guys will not regret it guys and don't forget a box giveaway rage of the abyss box giveaway thanks to andrew right here right now coming to a theater near you imagine you're that guy you open up your mailbox right there you see this fresh off the press box right there all you have to do is subscribe you can't make this stuff up man ring that bell subscribe and you're in we'll be selecting that look at that almost at 6.4k and at 6.5k we're gonna be selecting that winner that's just around the corner you guys do not want to miss out none of this content's official financial advice is for entertainment purposes only guys me i'd be selling nightmare thrones and all this uh you bell cards i'd be selling yeah could they get random support in the future something happens sure anything is possible we're talking about short term we're talking about now into this new format into rise your format malice format i mean yeah can, can can you bell compete yeah it's a good deck it's a good deck it's a great deck but again i think it's a deck that will be power crept in the sense with the new cards coming out and uh yeah 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 look at that look at that 15 bones don't let this be single digits don't let this ultra be single digits please you sell now we told you guys to sell at 20s now at 15s don't be that guy selling at nines don't do that don't leave this money on the table that's just me phantom of you bell told you guys this card will go into the teens here we are don't let it go down to 15s and then eventually a single digit secret rare don't do that you know you sell now you recycle that purchasing power it's over for you bell in the short term it's over and in the future this deck sure we're talking about right now into the new meta format rage of the abyss format and eventually malice and eventually rise you want to make sure you recycle this purchasing power with destructive the rumor karma cannon shout out to down south you know he added th he had this in his uh bonanza list prediction um so again dueling heroes right here and uh yeah this prismatic i'd be selling this just in case just in case yeah i get it labyrinth and this card is broken we understand but i still take my whoops what is this man almost 25 dollars yeah i'll take it man i'll take my 20 23 25 dollars take it right now recycle it just in case it comes in bonanza if it doesn't then you really need it you pick it back up in two weeks if not then at least you recycled your purchasing power then we have life sworn dragon link you know it, it, it makes me sad honestly i'm a big light sworn uh you know uh advocate i love light sworns i play them in edison and um, I'll probably play them in, in uh, hat format uh, once Dragon Rulers get reprinted. I love Lice ones. And, you know, to see Mimigos, um get support in back-to-back -back sets, um, to see um, just everything. There, there's a couple of, what was the other deck archetype? Um, Goblin Bikers getting support. Like, all, all, all these, uh, you know, TCG, I believe they're TCG exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, you know uh, uh um deck cores deck archetypes getting support and then light swords we got this in in, in lod in uh is it lod no it's led l-e-d-e -E. my bad guys in legacy of destruction and then infinite forbidden no support rage of the abyss no more lights from support up until now supreme darkness no more lights from support so you know it's a sad day you know this thing got hype post balanced when grass got um unbanned to one and uh, a lot of hype all the way up to 16s. The card was, you know, look at that. If you go to the yearly, card was what? It says eight bones here, but really, this card was uh, $7, as you can see in the three months right there, under eights. And uh, yeah, double top formation now. People realize it's not doing much. And, you know, I, I, 11 bones right now. Again, I'd be selling at the double digit range before it goes back down to seven, sixes, fives. No one's using this. Unless new support gets announced, I'd be selling this ultra rare. Um, and again, it's it's unfortunate, man. I feel like Konami should have given more light support to. Oh yeah, Mermails. Mermails is another one. Got support and getting in Supreme Darkness. Just can multiple core set support. And with Light Swarms, we only saw it in here. And then that's it. I'm like, come on now, man. Jeez. That's unfortunate, man. It is. It is. But 
it is what it is. Cashier Unicorn, another one, another one. Excuse me, guys. I'd be selling this card right now here. Um, I, I just got rid of mine just in case, just in case. Pushing force right there. There's one you sell. Maybe $10. You got a $10 back a play set after fees or or maybe if it's in person, just give someone a deal. You take your 10 bucks and recycle it into something else because this card most likely is coming in Bonanza sooner rather than later. Protos, we're always talking about this card. Always talking about Protos. Look at that. This double top right here at around 40s coming down here to the mid 30s. This is a bear flag, guys. People, it's a bear flag. Look at that. The pull was what? 42s down to 34s. That's what? Eh, six, eight, less than $10. So this is going down to 25s sooner rather than later to revisit the lows. Don't be that guy holding on. Don't be that guy. Please. Please don't let this be 25s or go into the teens, especially with a, a reprint looming. No way this card remains single print for much longer during this reprint season. Don't hold on for too long. Then we have Memento Trombone Party. Again, told you guys to sell here at above 25s, pushing 30s. We come back today. The card continues to crash down. Um, almost revisiting this pivot low right here. Um, the scene of the crime. And uh, yep. Yeah. Car hasn't even been updated. It broke the low. It broke the low. Guys, if there was ever a time to sell this, <coughs> is now. Please. Please. Told you guys at above 25 pushing 30, sell this. Coming back to you guys at 18 pushing 20, sell this. Don't let me be that guy coming back down at 9 to 10s, telling you guys to sell this again before it's a $5 card. It's a matter of time before it gets reprinted. Make sure. You keep that in mind. Hard pour, same deal, man. If you bought this card at $25, take profits, man. I'd be selling this card. Hype. You sell into the hype. You know, uh, of course, a hype season could last from the announcement up until release. But you want to take profits, man. If you really bought this at $25, you see a couple of multiples here. You know, coming in, <clears throat> smart people trying to take profits in the triple digi range. Don't be greedy. If you have this card, sell it. That's what I'd be doing in the triple digi range. Just eating them profits, man. Them pluses. Recycle it. Put in $25. It becomes 100 clean after fees and taxes and all that, whatever. You take that 100, that 4X, recycle it into the tins and into Bonanza. The game is too easy. Runic tip. I see this card. I'm like, such a great candidate, guys. Honestly, such a great candidate to come in the rarity. Coach. Hasn't been announced yet, but it's the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip, man. That's it. Runic tip here. Um, it's an iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card that a lot of people hate. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think it comes in Bonanza, honestly. So, again, again, I, I, I've owned tips in the past. Um, I've sold them. And, look, the walls are coming in. This is where you sell now at $5. Don't come back one day and see this card at a Billy Fitty down 3X. Don't do that. Don't do that. L don't leave 3X on the table. Recycle that purchasing power. If you have some extra tips, you have these in the binders. You know what I mean? No, I traded for one the other day moved it real, real quick because it still has the man it's still sometimes you, you trade cards that even though even though you know are getting reprinted in the short term you still trade for them because they still have high liquidity so me i traded like a couple of small cards to make up to this and then i sold this card um so that's the way that you go with regards to that but it was to sell immediately and i did you take profits man you take profits now profits are not just you know i buy a five i sell a tens profits is also i have a card that i bought for fives and I'm selling at fives because then it's going to be two dollars, one dollar. And then you can rebuy either the same card, more copies or buy the new version. So make sure you keep that in mind. Then we have Soul Servant and the Dark Magicians. Again, they came in Legendary Season 3. Again, these secret rares, you want to make sure it's time to sell. It's time to sell, man. Sell at double digits. We get it. iconic cards. They're Dark Magician cards. But the same way they could come in Bonanza. Don't be that guy holding on for too long. Look at that. Look at that. These are both similarly priced. They're in the double digi range right here. Easy money. Don't don't let this look at that. Starting to curve down, guys. Men lie, women lie. The charts don't lie. New local low in the three month chart. These are signs. You don't want to hold on for too long. You come in here. Look at that. Look at that. This one's hold, consolidating here a little bit before eventually curving down, especially if a reprint comes in. Look at these walls. 600, 700 copies, guys. The walls are coming in. Don't be that guy. You sell right below the wall. Don't hold onto these cards too long because I believe these are iconic Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, like imagine if these come in Rarity Collection 3 and Bonanza, they would fit perfectly in. They would fit right in, um, right there. Um, and so, psh, hopefully, man, because I want these cards and they look beautiful. 
reprinted in Bonanza. Hopefully, we get it soon. Then we have Spiritual Beast Tamer Lara. Last time we were talking about this card at 1213s. This thing just broke its uh, previous pivot here at around 11, 12s. New all time low. We told you guys. We told you guys to sell this card. We told you guys, literally, the OGs know, the tried and true, the people that watch the daily videos. We told you guys this card lived its life cycle. Ritual Beast already top, multiple events. The, the couple of players that like the deck already have the cards and it's a beautiful card don't get me wrong but that's it it lived its life cycle you know uh nine bones me tsh, told you guys to sell at 12s so hopefully you guys did um and now at nines close to double digits i still be selling um i wouldn't be one holding down to seven fifties or maybe even five dollars one day as a secret rare that uh no one really cares about anymore you know except that one guy at locals you know and he already has the card divine arsenal double a zoo sky thunder Again, this is a card is curving up a little bit, but I can't believe this is still $10. We need this in Bonanza. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll see if they double dip with Sky Crisis, but Zeus needs to come in here, man. We need cheap Zeus's. We need PUR Zeus's and PCR's and PSR's and you name it, guys. So I believe this one is coming in Bonanza and Gamer's Choice obviously does with 1,324 copies. Insane. Shh crazy wow crazy guys excuse me i'd be like mr wallet china right here selling this card only 17 listings i'd be selling into this liquidity into this volume right here um you know because you don't want to be holding this card sub five dollars lose more than 50 percent of your value once it gets reprinted in bananas this is all speculation we just don't know right and then lastly we have primite lordly load i have four of these guys well i have two waiting two in the mail that i bought down here at around 339 was my purchase let's say 350s after tax so i put in seven dollars and right now one is worth 988 so this last card <coughs> excuse me guys in this video to sell i wanted to ask you guys what should i do should i sell this card because i bought cheap at two i traded for two of these cheap <laughs> and then um bought two more so what should i do man 40 dollars in the table should i sell should your boy sell Leave a comment in the comment section down below. You know, uh, I might sell into the hype. Take the 3X run for them hills. Should I Should I go? I'm, I'm out. I'm going to run to them hills, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Guys, hopefully you guys found value in today's Market Watch, man. Weekend Market Watch um, on a Saturday. Um, talking about cards, you know, just to keep in mind. Cards that I'd be selling or keeping in mind to sell, especially with the Bonanza hype and the reprint cycle coming to an end here um, for this year, essentially. Um, it's about that time, man. Bonanza is going to come in, destroy the markets. Um, just like, look at that. Shh, got, got a lot of great, you know, feedback, <clears throat> excuse me, for yesterday's video about Bonanza. Next week, we'll do one that's nostalgic. Um, so make sure that you guys keep this one in mind guys almost at 6.4k don't forget about our giveaways we're giving back on the discord we're giving back on the channel be subscribed we're giving back on x you want to make sure that you sub to your boy and follow on those platforms so that you can take advantage of our giveaways we're always giving back guys we want to positively impact people's lives guys if you made it this far out into the video you guys are straight mvps guys thank you so much for your time for your support and for your attention, stay fresh.